Oh my god, this was probably the worst decision I have made. So finally the long-awaited video is here. Well, I'm not sure if it's a long-awaited, but it's been waiting for a long time. So the 2000 piece puzzle I promised I'm gonna do for reaching 2000 subscribers. So I wanted to thank every single one of you for being here, for supporting me and just following me through my journey. I couldn't have done it without you. So I know that I'm already like halfway through towards the 3000 subscribers, but there was so much going on with the worlds and all the videos following it up. So I just had to wait. I wanted to, you know, leave it all together and then continue with my usual content. So it's a 2000 piece puzzle by Schmidt and the title of this one is Disney Collage. I have to admit that I was really worried or still am worried about this puzzle because I've only done one 2000 piece puzzle so far and I had it out for like a week or two. So this one I kind of have to finish like in two days because then I have to go back to work. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about it. So what I did last night basically is when I was sat on myself, I put some TV on and started to like sort the pieces and I wanted to make it really easy for myself. So I basically went by pictures and after one hour, I realized that this is taking way too long because every piece I took out, I basically had to find it on the picture to then know in which tray to put it. And at one point I was just like, if I'm literally holding every piece, trying to find it on the picture and then placing it in the tray. I might as well be doing that tomorrow and placing it in the puzzle. So after an hour, when I had this many pieces left, that's after one hour of sorting. Oh, so uh, I've got everything else here and uh, yeah, after an hour of sorting, well, about 45 minutes, I decided, okay, just scrap that. I'm just going to take the frame out. So I basically managed to hopefully find the entire frame. And I'm going to try to put this together first. Because first off, I have to see if it's going to fit on my table. I really hope it does, because otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have any extra solutions today on hand. Uh, so yeah, I want to do the frame first, even though I think it's going to be really complicated because when you see the picture, basically the frame is like a picture frame, so it's repetitive pattern. But I think it's going to help me because then it's going to be easier to just place things in where they're supposed to be. So I'm basically going to use like the Donna Louise method today because that's what she does. I don't know how long it's supposed to take me to finish a 2000 piece puzzle. Like, I honestly have no idea. So my average is like four to five hours for a thousand piece puzzle. So 10 hours then? Is that, I don't know. Ah, it's so difficult. I mean, it does look quite easy and the cut is good as well. So yeah. Oh God, I hope it doesn't take me too long to put that frame together. I left some of the pieces together. There was too much holding on. So basically what I decided to do is keep one section connected just because I want to know which direction the frame is turned because if I do the frame upside down and then I start to assemble the puzzle inside it's just I'm gonna have to turn it all around and probably like separate it and it would just be too much work so I kept this corner oh, it's gonna fall off yeah so basically kept this corner so I know where it goes so I can already place it and yeah this is gonna just stay there and no, it doesn't count as cheating. <laughs> I need help. I'm scared. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. Let's just go on. Let, let's just start. I think definitely the best decision when you're doing a frame that actually looks like a frame is basically to shape saw all the pieces. So that was definitely the first thing I had to do because then I do what Donna Louise calls Cinderella shoe method, where you basically pick one piece up and then you go through all the other pieces until it fits. And that's the method I tend to use a lot when doing the frame, especially when it's a frame that has like only one color or one design because it's really difficult to just go based on the picture. So this frame was definitely trickier than I expected and I think having missing pieces definitely didn't help. But at the end of the day you know that if you're gonna try on every piece one of them is gonna have to fit. So you know there is a point where you have to reach the end with the frame pieces. 
It's always good to have the frame finished because then you know exactly how big the puzzle is. But I know since it's time to do speed puzzling, it's not always the best choice to do the frame first because it takes a while. That's why I kind of stopped doing it. But anytime I puzzle leisurely, I always start with the frame still because it's just so much easier for me to build from the inside. Okay, so, oh my god, this was probably the worst decision I have made doing this frame one hour 20 minutes and obviously i'm missing pieces so it doesn't fully connect but i think size wise the bottom line oh! yeah the bottom line is finished <laughs> it barely makes it the table barely makes it i mean honestly i could have taken like one edge away and just do the puzzle inside but i think when i start to connect pieces it's gonna be safe even though it's gonna be leaning over the edge a little bit. So I think the table has passed the 2000 piece challenge test, but definitely not gonna be able to do a 3000 piece puzzle here. I think it's quite obvious. So yeah, let's talk about <laughs> the frame. Oh my God. Obviously it's a lot more difficult when you have pieces missing because then it's just like, you know, you get stuck and you're looking for the same piece and it's just not here. But the fact that like this frame I would never do in the beginning because it's just too difficult. I think it's going to make it easier to puzzle within the frame now. So in that sense, I'm happy that I've done the frame first. But it did suck a little bit of fun out of me. I have to say, I started really early in the morning and I feel like I've just wasted the entire time just putting the frame together. So what I'm gonna do now is basically go through all of the piles that I basically separated yesterday because it's all done based on the picture. So yeah, I'm gonna try to assemble as much as I possibly can and then I think I'm gonna do an actual sort for the puzzle as well. Oh god, it's just confusing. It just feels like I'm trying to make it easier for myself and by doing that I'm making it harder for myself. I don't know, I wasted so much time on sorting and basically had nothing done. Like I just wasted so much time on frame as well and it's not even finished. It's fine, I've got two days. It's 11am now so I think we're gonna be fine. Okay, let's do this. Because I was so scared of the puzzle when I decided to do the ultimate sorting last night, I basically thought it was the best thing to start with just basically placing everything that I knew exactly which picture it belongs to. And this is not the method I would normally use because it's sort of like build as you sort method and my brain physically cannot handle that. Like until I've got at least majority of the pieces, it's really hard for me to just place them somewhere randomly. And yes, you're seeing right, I'm wearing pyjamas. I just had to point it out because you're gonna see it anyway. <laughs> but yeah, let's not talk about that anymore. I wanted to say about the sorting as well. I basically just did normal sorting based on color, but then I made like a specific pile, which is anything that I could immediately recognize. And I think that's really good because with those pieces, I'm gonna be able to immediately put them in where they're supposed to go. And I think it's gonna make it a lot easier to then when I go through the colors because I'm gonna have a lot of sections built already. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking, but I think this is a perfect example of what it means when you get into your head. Well, at least what I do. So I completely overcomplicated this puzzle because I was so scared of doing it. It's a 2000 piece puzzle my second one in my life. So I kind of just like wanted to make it easier for myself by doing like the extraordinary sorting and then doing the frame first. But really I've just done like a normal sorting now. I just picked the pieces that really stood out to me first. So this is gonna be really easy to know exactly where they go because I recognize faces and dresses and stuff. And then the rest is basically just gonna go by color, you know, like anyone else would puzzle. But no, I had to make it complicated for myself. So yeah, I've spent so much time doing things that were completely useless. But I've tried the Donna Louise method of where you just place a piece where it's supposed to go and it's just not working out for me, honestly. Like, I have no idea what I've done. Now I'm thinking that the puzzle is probably not even gonna be that difficult. I just made it like unnecessarily more difficult for myself. But the plan is to basically finish everything except the frames today because I think the frames are gonna be 
well, a different story. So if I manage to finish everything today and then do this tomorrow, I'm gonna be really happy with that. So let's see how it goes. So sorting was definitely a good idea. The pieces that I eliminated that were specific and I knew exactly where to place them, it was really easy to place them in because obviously I already had some stuff on the board and I managed to collect like quite a lot of pieces that were people and faces. So it was easy to kind of like do the sections which is something that I actually can do. It was really interesting because I did sorting by color and I didn't actually think I did that good of a job. But then I realized that almost every color that I separated was different pictures sky. So that was really nice because it was really easy to just fill the space in because I already had the people assembled. So I would just do the sky as well. So that was really good. But I did have problems with sun on this section specifically. But there is a point during the day when the sun is completely straight on my window and all the differences are so obvious. And then it shines so bright that it's so easy to puzzle and then the next second it's gonna go completely dark. So that was definitely not the easiest to puzzle with but it's even worse for color correction. So I do have to apologize about the sun. <laughs> Okay, it's been nearly five hours, but I think I'm doing really well because in those five hours, I'm not sure if I would completely count all five hours to, you know, putting the puzzle together because I wasted one hour sorting that was completely useless. But I think I'm doing really well and I think I'm gonna be able to finish what I wanted today. And I'm, I think even if I have some time left over, I'm still gonna leave the frame for tomorrow because yeah, I'm just gonna be too tired for that. So I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow morning because I think I'm gonna have to do shape sorting for all of it. And I'm just hoping like, I have no idea how long it's supposed to take me to finish a 2000 piece puzzle. But so far so good, so I'm really happy with it. I think if I continue with this speed, I'm gonna be able to finish it tomorrow during the day. So that's what I wanted. I have to say that I was really hopeful when I was doing this puzzle today, but that was a point where I had to eat. And I love to eat in front of my TV. I don't know, I'm just not used to eating at a dining table. And when I was eating in front of the TV and just put like the show on, it just got really difficult to then stop watching. I was already puzzling for quite a few hours by that point and obviously having to record everything. So it kind of felt really nice that I can just sit and relax. And then by the time I got back, because obviously it's coming winter time now in Slovenia, so the sun wasn't out anymore by the time I finished with the TV. And then I had to turn all the lights on and it's just not the same to puzzle without the sunlight. So at that point I started to feeling a bit deflated and I actually thought I'm not gonna be able to finish the puzzle because it was just one of those things when I had the darkest pieces left because this is what you always do. You always start with the easy stuff and the bright stuff and then the dark pieces are always left to the end. So then not having the sun out made it even more difficult. And then the circle pictures again were quite easy to assemble but then there was the other pictures that were like feeling in the space around the circles and it was going in some random direction and like it didn't make much sense like it wasn't completely connected to the picture so I would just find a piece and I'm like where do you go and I would just be looking for those pieces for so long. It was definitely a bit unfortunate that I started to feel deflated because I don't know I think I start to puzzle slower when that happens so I think next time I'm doing a large account puzzle it's just like no breaks in front of the TV. <laughs> full stop, like it's just not happening because we do not want to get too comfortable and then not being able to go back to puzzle. Okay, so it's the next morning today and I couldn't record anything more yesterday, it got too dark. So basically I managed to complete my goal for the day. So I basically done all of the image sections. So all I've got left now is frame. I don't want to admit that, but there's way too many pieces like 
way more than I expected that that's gonna be. But one thing that I really think is gonna help me is I realized that the outside frame has actually a really thick border, so it's gonna be quite easy to eliminate those pieces. And then I'm just hoping that all of the inside pieces have, you know, some sort of color on them. <laughs> so it's gonna be a bit easier to like find where they go. So it took me seven hours to get to the point where I am now. I'm hoping that it's not gonna take me longer than three more hours to finish the puzzle, which would put me to a total of 10 hours. I'm a little bit worried about the frame. <laughs> it just, yeah, it just looks like a lot of the same pieces, but it might be easier than it looks. So I don't know, but I'll let you know when I finish it. Luckily for me, there was a very clear difference between the outside frame and then the frames within the frame, like the round frames in the picture. So it was really easy to saw those pieces as well, which was really helpful. And then I made an extra pile with all the pieces that basically had some color left on them. And obviously I had to start with those pieces because it's the easiest way to know where to place them because you've got some color that tells you where the piece goes. If I just did the shape sorting straight from the beginning, it would just be too many pieces, I think. And it would just take so much longer. So I love to do shape sorting, but there is always a time for shape sorting to happen. So when you run out of obvious colors or obvious stuff on the pieces, that is gonna basically tell you where the piece goes. This is when you do the shape sorting. So it just took me one hour now to do the sorting of the frames and to put everything that I could find in there. But I think now I'm gonna have to continue with these frames because I kind of like divided it into a few sections and I think it's gonna be quite easy to do the outside section first and then when I have the actual shape of the pieces to go inside I think it's gonna be easier to do shape sorting and then place them in. But I think, I don't know, is this doable in another two hours? I'm at like eight hours now, I have no idea. So I don't know how that's gonna go, I think so far it was quite, I'm not gonna say easy, but because I had color on the pieces it was a lot easier to find where the piece fits but now it's literally just gonna be nothing but i think the fact that i've got different patterns on the pieces i think it's gonna make it a lot easier because i can turn them all in the same direction so at least i'm not, not gonna have to check like both sides so that's something that's definitely gonna help so yeah i'm just hoping that this doesn't take too much longer now but it's looking really good. I'm really proud of myself. Like it's my second 2000 piece puzzle ever. And I'm doing it sitting down, which is really interesting because it's quite hard to see like what's at the top, but that's okay. I think I'm just gonna start the bottom section and then when I have less pieces, I'm just gonna start moving up. So obviously I had to start with the outside frame because it was just so obvious and it was really thick as well so it came basically in two rows and then because it had those little pearls going across I just turned them all in the same direction. I didn't shape sort but I did turn them all in the right direction so then it was really easy to just find what goes together. And after I've done the inside of the outside frame, it was so much easier to do the outside of the outside frame because obviously I had shapes of the pieces already known in most cases. I would definitely say that the inside of this frame was the easiest thing of this puzzle. But then doing the round frames inside wasn't as easy because four of the frames were basically identical. It was just the big one in the middle that was a little bit easier because it actually was made out of two colors. And obviously I had to do shape sorting because when everything is the same color, what else are you supposed to do? Okay, the puzzle is finished. This is amazing. Like, there's this different kind of feel when you finish like a large puzzle. I don't know how to explain, but it's just, it's a real accomplishment. I'm really proud of myself. So it took me nine hours and 10 minutes and I'm kind of like, I'm not gonna say disappointed in me, but I think I could have done it like at least one hour sooner if I didn't complicate my life because I explained that I basically went to do like the two detailed sorting, then I've done, 
you know, all the inside pieces when I didn't have everything. So I think that just wasted a lot of my time, which just basically shows exactly what I was talking about the competition. I get into my head because I think that the puzzle is too difficult. And then I try to look for solutions that are going to make the puzzle easier. And it, it just doesn't work. <laughs> so I think I've learned my lesson. Don't get scared of a puzzle. Just do what you always do. You know, you're good. Like, just don't get scared. And I have to say that the frame was actually so much easier than I expected. It made me think like maybe it would be better if I did it in the beginning. But then again, was it easy because I only had like small sections and I knew exactly where to place it. I'm not sure, but I think the edge pieces could easily be done in the beginning. Well, oh my god, this is so nice. There's also one shoot piece. I was warned about that, which is a, a bit unfortunate, but the puzzle is still complete. It's better to have a shoot piece. It was chewed by a dog. And yeah, I would rather have a shoot piece than a missing piece. So. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look how big this is. Oh my god. I know I've already mentioned that before, but as you can see, the table holds a 2000 piece puzzle. I don't think I'm gonna be attempting to do a 3000 piece puzzle here because, yeah, there's just not enough space. So I'm gonna do that on my dining table, but it's good to know that a 2000 piece puzzle works because, you know, the large account puzzles, they normally come in bags of like 2000 pieces. So that would be quite cool if I can keep doing it at this table. I don't wanna go on the floor. <laughs> like I kinda got comfortable here, <laughs> but yeah. I wanted to ask you a question now because obviously this is my second ever 2000 piece puzzle. So I just wanted to ask you what is your average time of putting the 2000 piece puzzle together? Like I know it varies based on the picture because there was the Ravensburger challenge puzzle that was a thousand pieces and I've done it in six hours. So I know that this picture is very easy, but I just wanted to have like a rough idea of how long does it normally take you to finish a puzzle. So I know for, and maybe tell me for 3000 pieces as well, because this is going to come sooner than I want. But not in terms of subscribers. I'm like, keep subscribing. <laughs> That's not the problem. It's just, I've never done a 3000 piece puzzle. So that I'm really scared of. So yeah, please, if you can just write me your average time for a two and 3000 piece puzzles, just so I know what I'm getting myself into or what to expect. I need to know if I need more than two days. <laughs> to put a puzzle together. But yeah, that's it for today and I'll see you next time. Bye.